Welcome to the first full week of October. It's feeling a lot more like late summer with the humidity pretty high and temperatures that are going to be pushing close to 90 degrees. And like Sunday, we're going to face an isolated uh, spotty downpour in spots. It looks like the pattern turns a little bit wetter overall by the middle and end of the week, especially much needed rain for some neighborhoods that have gone upwards of two weeks without any significant rainfall. If that takes an edge off the heat, be listening for the first alert five day forecast every 15 minutes on Jacksonville's morning news. We have another really busy week of events across the area with the first Wednesday art walk returning, Jim Furyk's inaugural golf event at Timaquana Country Club, and so many uh, outdoor fall festivals and events throughout the Northeast Florida area. Concerts this upcoming weekend as well. The all important first alert forecast we will be updating for you every six minutes during Jacksonville's morning news. Be listening for updates on the uh, overall effort in Jacksonville to move to drop off sites for recycling. Curbside recycling is done for now uh, as the city is working to uh, get control of uh, garbage collection and yard waste collection. So we have these 14 drop off sites which we're set to open up on Monday, but already saw people dropping off recycling in person over the weekend. And in some cases, all those 14 locations full. Uh, we'll see how long uh, it'll take before the city will pick up and an updated look at what can and can't be recycled or dropped off at these locations. Updated this morning at WOKB.com. It's almost a re-education for us on the recycling effort in Northeast Florida. We're also following the story in the Congress this week, by the way, uh, on the Biden agenda, not only the social spending bill, but also uh, the ongoing effort to try to get that, um, uh, that infrastructure plan past the finish line in the House and how the two are intertwined. We're updating that story for you throughout Jacksonville's Morning News this week and in-depth at WOKV.com.